Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to try copying a Pat McGrath Instagram tutorial using as much of the same products as I can that she's using. So I've gone and picked this tutorial because I just, listen, I just spent like an hour scrolling through her Instagram because I was like, oh, she's got a million and one. What is that on my fucking face? Hmm. Invisible hair. Whose hair is that? Pat McGrath on her Instagram page has got heaps of these little tutorials. I thought, great, I'm gonna try copy one of her tutorials. So I've got three of these palettes, the first, second, and third one, but she's only got like friggin' like two tutorials using the old palettes. She's got heaps on the new ones, everything except the ones that I've got. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go and order the new ones so that I can try recreate some of the cooler pinks and like wild color ones. So the one that I picked is with the Subversive 2 palette, which is this which is a ridiculously expensive palette, but guys, these are so good. Oh, peel porn. Don't you love when you discover that there's something to peel like months after the fact? Anyways, so this is the palette. It's gorgeous. There's a nice range of colors, but this tutorial that I picked is fairly basic, but still I'm going to give it a go and see how well I can get it looking. I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful the way they edit them and film them. I want to know how they blur the skin like that because this skin like it looks so good It's a nice look you guys are gonna like it. Okay, so for this I'm gonna have to zoom you in so it's like right on my eye You can see exactly what I'm doing and I'll be able to put the tutorial up next to it so you can see how I'm faring Let's go in That's as close as I can get Okay, so the first thing she does is adds this iconic eye pigment all over the eye So I'll take that one on a little brush She's using a heaps fluffy brush, so I'm gonna do that too. And I have to film this right too, so I have to watch and see how she does it. And then I'm gonna try copy it. Okay, here goes nothing. She then packs that color on like here at the outer corner. But as you can see, it's not really having the same effect. So I'm gonna add some of this dark brown, just a little bit. Try and get that effect. Yeah, that looks a bit more like it. Because she says what she does in the caption, but I don't think it's exact. Also, this model's head does not move. I feel like she's in a stirrup or something. Now that first color goes underneath the eye. So my head keeps moving, obviously, because I'm like talking, but also even if I feel like I'm being straight, I still like shift down. So I think what they do is they like put it on because they always get it so perfect. They like put the product on and then when they're ready to shoot like the application, they just kind of pretend like this, like I've already got it on and then they just go like this. I'm going to get a wrist injury from holding this thing. It's unnecessarily heavy. I don't know why it has to be this heavy. Okay, next. Why doesn't mine look as sparkly as this? So we've got the base color on. I've also got a little bit of darker color in the corner. Check. Under the eye. Check. Brow bone now, and then the sparkly. So highlight, highlight brow bone with Skin Show Glow Pigment, which is that first one. And then you put VR Nectar on the center of the lid. Roger that. It's funny because in the lights that she has, she obviously has some like amazing sick setup. I don't have that, but all the colors look so much more sparkly. Anyway, we're gonna put this one on. Let's get heaps, hey? Both sides, so we don't have to keep lifting this thing up because it fucking hurts my wrist. Apply. That's pretty. I'm really excited about picking up this color, like look how it reflects. It's got like the pink and gold happening. It's gonna look so pretty over the top. Pick it up on the brush and see how it looks. My fingers are like struggling hardcore. <laughs> it looks so pink in here. Surely you can see, yeah, see when I lift it, you can see the gold. Pretty, right? Focus in that on the center of the lid and you've got to catch this part on camera because this is where the effect is. Get my eye in the middle. And look down. Okay, I can't move. Ready. Okay, ready? Ready, ready, ready? I'm gonna get more. Ready? I'm gonna hide it with the brush so it doesn't, you can't tell I've got it there. 
Oops, I looked up. Oh my god, worth it. The whole palette is worth it just for that color. Holy shit balls. Dust off, pack everywhere else, or dust everywhere else. That's so nice. Okay, then we're lining. She clearly does the wing like first and then just mocks it. So let's just go ahead and do that. I don't have her eyeliner pencils because like I have literally a bazillion eye pencils. So I'm just gonna use one of my own. This is the Slim Cream Eyeliner in Matte Brown from Jouer. She uses a brown one called Shade from her collection. So it's a very nice, it's a really cute little wing. I assume I'm gonna have to do the end with a little brush. So let's get that. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna use this little compact because honestly that palette, way too heavy for me. First I need to ensure that all of this is like supremely blended. It looks really good so far. Like I think it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna line the top part of the lid. Oh, this isn't being soft and creamy right now. Let me test it out on the back of my hand. I don't know if maybe it's a bit old now. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need a smoother one. On the website, the color shade says it's a mid-tone taupe, which I feel like is definitely gonna be similar to this color from Smashbox called Moody. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I already fucked up. Fuck. Um, uh, no, it looks good so far. How do they get a pencil so precise? Okay, now I've smooshed some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take that little eyeliner brush that we showed you before, that I showed you, who's we? Put that on the brush. It looks super gray on the back of my hand, but it looks okay on the lid. Now I'm gonna push that up there. I'm proud of this wing, you guys. I'm gonna take a little bit of this MAC one on the brush. This is a brown one called Long Espresso. I just wanna make it a bit more dark brown, just a little bit, especially on the wing. There, something on the wing, something. <laughs> Looks good, but they must use heaps of editing to make theirs look good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pencil and pretend for the sake of the fake Instagram video. Okay, how's that? <laughs> Next step is mascara. I'm gonna take this Maybelline one, which I really like, and I'll just put it on first and then we'll mock it for the video again. Okay, here we are so far. I've already got a boo-boo up here. Hopefully it just comes off, yes. Looks good. Okay, but we have to pretend to apply mascara. So I'm gonna like squish off most of it so we don't clump it as we're filming. Line yourself up, and then go. I feel like these lashes will be good. They're from designer brands. They're called the Foaming Feline Lash. That's what they look like. And from what I can see in the video, that's kind of similar to what the model's wearing. Okay, so they're holding them like that, and then they bring them in. I don't know how they don't get the hand in the shot. I guess it is pretty close being on Instagram. They go like that. Okay, I'm gonna pretend, okay? Wait, I can't move my left hand that slowly and steadily. Let me try with this hand. But now I'm just gonna maneuver. Oh, it was way off. Sorry, I need to look in a mirror. Give me a sec. Bro, this is taking a while. I feel like my lashes looked better before. These are kind of like short. How are they making my lashes look shorter? Okay, I'm finally done. Whoa, what a journey. Doesn't look that bad. I put a little bit more mascara on them. But yeah, wait, now I have to pretend like I'm pinching them? I think I have to pretend like I'm pinching them now. Oh no, they're just on there. Holy shit, that was quick. It's just mascara, lashes, quickly the inner corner. Now that lashes are on, I just need to add that gold. So this gold is weird, it looks like a nugget. As I apply it, how do they get the brush in the inner corner? Oh, they just like, it's obviously already there. So let's just pack that on, ooh. 
Okay, for the sake of the video, ready? I'm gonna put concealer under my eye to make it all look really nice and neat. I'm using the Tarte one, because I'm a Tarte. This is obviously not part of the Insta video, but it's gonna make it look nice and clean. Okay, I'm ready for the pose. So she's looking down. She looks up. And she like looks down again. Right? Okay. It sucks that it's not sparkling right already. Anyway, I'm gonna do the makeup on the other side and come right back. Okay, done. And the eye makeup definitely looks super pretty, but I don't have that um, same glittery look that they have in the video. I'm just shining my light light on it to see if I can get some of that effect. It's obviously just their lighting. I don't know how they do it. Does anyone know? It looks a lot more sparkly in real life. Still really pretty though. I really like the look. Okay guys, so I just finished the look. I love how it came out. The makeup looks amazing, especially in person. I feel like the camera is not picking up on like how glittery and multi-chrome the eyeshadows look, but they look so nice. And I'm gonna put together a little clip and play with the videos side by side so you can see how it came out. <laughs> I'm also gonna download some plugins and see if I can get the same like ethereal effect that Pat gets. I don't know how she does it. She obviously has a huge team of like production people doing it. But I'll give it a go and okay, so I'm gonna assume that I've like put the video together now. Let's watch it. Yeah, I just had to try it. Like I've been so infatuated with those little mini videos that she does. And I just had a lot of fun like trying to get it done like her. So if it comes out well, then I'm gonna upload it on my Instagram. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Leave me a thumbs up and subscribe, turn the notifications on.